Today's lesson is under part design using part studios. It's lesson number four, wheel rim. For this lesson, you will learn how to use draft, whole circular pattern, and we'll use fillet and chamfer again. Create a new sketch. Named it exercise wheel rim. Change the workspace units. Change it to millimeter and to grams. Now start a new sketch on the front plane. Change the name to main sketch. Right click on the front plane. View normal to sketch plane. Draw four circles and three lines. Change the vertical line to a construction line. Now add dimension to fully define the sketch. Click the four circles and add concentric constraint. Now click on the construction line and the two diagonal lines and then add symmetric constraint. Now your sketch is fully defined. Accept the changes made. So now let's create a solid extrude. Make sure it's solid, new, and then change this to symmetric. Now add the following features. And change the depth to 150. And then accept the feature. Rename part 1 to wheel rim. Let's add more parts. Let's show the main sketch and hide the planes. Create a new extrude. Make sure it's solid and it's new and select the following faces. Change to symmetric and give it a depth of 200. Click draft and change it to 5 degrees. Notice the direction of the draft. It should be thicker in the middle and smaller in the front. So let's change the direction. Accept the feature. Now let's create the spoke. Create another extrusion. This time, click Solid and then Add. And select the triangle profile from the main sketch. To do that easily, hide Part 2. Make sure it's blind and it's 25 mm. Click on Merge Scope. Click the wheel rim and click Part 2. Accept the feature. Let's add a draft. So click on neutral plane and choose the top face of the spoke. And then for entities to draft, click on the sides of the spoke. Change the degrees to 15. And just make sure that the front face of the spoke is smaller than the back. Accept the feature. Now click the mirror feature. 
change it to feature mirror and then for your features to mirror click on extrude 3 and draft 1. Click on mirror plane and choose the back face of the spoke. Accept the feature. Let's add some fillets for the entities to fill it. Click on face of extrude 3 and the mirror. Change the radius to 2 mm. Accept the feature. Now let's create the rest of the spokes by using a circular pattern. We need to make a feature pattern and select the following features. So there's four, extrude three, draft one, mirror one, and fillet one. Click on axis of pattern and click on the edge of the center circle. Angle is 360 degrees and the instant count set it to five. Equal spacing should be checked and then accept the feature. Now let's start a new sketch on the center circle. To avoid confusion, let's just hide main sketch for now. Draw two circles and a vertical line. Now change the outer circle and the vertical line into construction lines. Now let's add dimension. Change the name of this sketch to bolt circle and accept the sketch. Let's create another extrusion and let's choose remove. Click on the center hole and change this to through all. Accept the feature. Now go back to your bolt circle sketch and show it. Select the whole feature. Choose the following counter bore, through, ISO, clearance, and change this to M10. Fit should be normal, and the following number should still be the same. Now for the sketch point to place the hole, click at this point. Accept the feature. Next, let's add a circular pattern. Select feature pattern. Select on hole one. For the axis of pattern, Select the edge of the inner circle. Make sure to change the instance count to 5. And then accept the feature. Now we need to remove geometry from the rim to fit a tire. So select the extrude feature. Hide the bold circle sketch and shown the main sketch. Now hide the wheel rim. Let's click remove and choose the outermost profile from the main sketch. Let's show the wheel rim again.
change blind to up to face and click on the front face. Click offset distance and type 20 mm. Click on the second end position and again click up to face, click the back face, click on offset distance and type 20 mm. Now accept the feature. Hide the main sketch. Now let's add chamfers. Click on the following edges. Change the distance to 8 mm and accept the feature. Now let's add a fillet. Select the inner edges. Leave it to 5, accept the feature. Now let's assign a material, right click on the wheel rim, assign material, and choose aluminum 1060. Accept the material. Now go back to workspace units, instead of grams, choose kilograms. Now choose the part. and click on the mass properties icon and you should get this mass. Now take a screenshot, include the mass properties dialog box, your rim and your name and send this to alvarico.j at mdusd.net.